Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. It is getting worse by the minute for you AJ protectors and you Eddie Hearn apologists. As Shelly Finkel has came out and threatened to reveal more proof that it was Team AJ that ruined the chance of a super heavyweight showdown between Deontay Wilder and Anthony Joshua. And it's starting to look more and more that Eddie Hearn is the sole purpose that this fight didn't happen. And that basically Anthony Joshua was willing to accept the fight. And basically, he went back on his word. Eddie Hearn and Barry Hearn talked him out of it. And basically, Anthony Joshua has came across as looking like the most dumbest man on the face of the earth. You know... Eddie Hearn been lying to the fans in the UK. He been lied to the public, period. That's why he had that carefully constructed, you know, press conference. Basically, so people wouldn't ask him any tough questions. You know, I'm going to tell you something. Eddie Hearn, I'm going to do a separate video about any fighter that wants to sign with Matchroom. Because Eddie Hearn deserves a solo video. We've been telling you about Shelly Finkel and his resume for years. Shelly Finkel has been part of putting together some of the biggest fights in history. Real talk. But you had all these clowns that think they know what they talked about, that think they know boxing, don't know what the hell they talking about. Just was making videos just to be making videos. Well, Blue Blood put the video out further exposing Eddie Hearn and Anthony Joshua. The LDBC has knocked this out the park. I mean, this is some Barry Bonds shit we didn't did. You know what I'm saying? This is Barry Bonds, you know, knocking home runs until, you know what I'm saying, into the water at uh, Pac Bell Park or whatever the fuck the stadium is called now. The LDBC did knocked out all the haters, all the competition. All these people that was putting out these fake anti-LDBC don't know what they talked about. Uh, sub chasing clowns. I've been on it from the jump. Seven eight been on it. Shout out to Blue Bloods. He really been on top of his game, man. Once again, the LDBC and the LDBC affiliates been giving y'all the real. I'm gonna keep saying this, man. We've been giving y'all the real. We've been giving y'all the real scoops. We ain't been bullshitting y'all. You know what I'm saying? While you had a lot of these clowns that was twisting and turning our words. You know what I'm saying? But all that didn't happen in the long run. They didn't kill their credibility. They didn't make fools out of themselves. Like I say, keep listening to the For real, keep listening to them idiots, man. Keep listening to idiots. You know what I'm saying? That wear, you know what I'm saying? Goodwill. You know what I'm saying? Blazers and shit. And listening to idiots that got their ass whooped and shit. You know what I'm saying? Keep listening to them idiots because you making a fool out of yourself paying attention and taking heed to anything they say. You know what I'm saying? Who who been on top of this story, man? The LDBC, me, everybody. You know, Anthony Joshua, um, to a certain degree, I'm really getting angry at him because... Of what he's let Eddie Hearn do to him. And that he need to take control of his own destiny. Now Blue Blood reported that Eddie Hearn and Anthony Joshua got issues. You know that they got some, you know, you know, problems going on. That is trouble in duck paradise. Now it's looking like Anthony Joshua was on board with this shit and that Eddie Hearn ruined this shit. And the funny part about it is you had all these videos where people was making excuse after excuse. And you, like I said, you had all these clowns, you know, making excuses, you know, idiots making videos about uh, Floyd fought people who, who he had longer arms than and all that type of shit who they completely made idiots out of themselves. The LDBC is winning. You know what I'm saying? Y'all need to take y'all L, man. 
once again, man, um, I'm really proud of Blue Blood Sports, man, because he did his thing, man. He really been knocking this shit out the park, man. He been on this shit. And like I said, Eddie Hearn is only so much running he could do in maneuvering because eventually Eddie Hearn going to have to bring his ass out here. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully, I'll run into him so I can grill him and ask him, why have you been lying to the public and deceiving the public? Making it look like you guys went out of y'all way to make this fight when, in fact, it was the other way around. And see, they still... And, and I'm going to tell you something. I know Anthony Joshua is somewhere like, man, he probably sitting up like, man, this dude, Eddie Hearn, just made me look like a straight up chump and a coward that can't speak for himself, which basically he can't. If Anthony Joshua really would sit back and realize what Eddie Hearn has done to his reputation and his career, he should be lawyering up trying to get the fuck off of matchroom boxing and the zone. He should, uh, well, you know what I'm saying? Eddie Hearn did told a pack of lies. This is more proof that Anthony Joshua don't make no 20 million per fight. And that people are not beating down the door to see Anthony Joshua. Because there's still plenty of tickets left for the Pavetkin fight. So, at the end of the day, Anthony Joshua more and more is basically looking like, you know, Kuta Kente to, you know what I'm saying, or whatever Samuel Jackson's name was in Django. I can't remember the dude's name. And, you know, Eddie Hearn is looking like Calvin Candy. And that's a bad look for Anthony Joshua. And to you cats in the UK, to you brothers in the UK, don't defend Eddie Hearn. Don't don't take up for this dude, man. Y'all need to realize what Eddie Hearn did, did to to Anthony Joshua, and y'all should be pleading for Anthony Joshua to get the hell away from Eddie Hearn. I'm out.